Uh, my name is Mary Brennan. I studied environmental science in Trinity College and joined the ESAI in the 1990s and I was secretary for a few years. It was very advantageous for networking with other environmental scientists. Uh, later, I worked on research projects in Trinity with the emphasis on environmental analysis. Then, I lectured in Letterkenny IT and delivered modules on uh, ecology, environmental analysis and other biological subjects. Uh, I'm retired now and for the last 10 years I've been active in citizen science projects. I live in North Kilkenny, an area of intensive farming. One of the greatest challenges here is biodiversity loss. It is evident all around. Many hedges are shaped without flowers for bees or seeds and berries for birds. Grassland is mainly monoculture and there is widespread use of fertilizer and pesticides to support large dairy herds. I engage with this by being active in Anthashka, the secretary of the local branch and I lead wildlife walks along rural roads and in woodlands. And we keep biodiversity issues to the fore in the planning process. I do the garden bird survey for Birdwatch Ireland and the bumblebee monitoring scheme for the National Biodiversity Data Centre. The River Nore flows through County Kilkenny and there is a Nore vision project being undertaken. It hopes eventually to set up a river trust. There are many aspects to the project, but I volunteer to do macroinvertebrate monitoring of small streams. 70% of drainage from land enters small streams and they are adversely impacted by runoff of fertilizer and pesticides from farmland. There are no pristine rivers left in Kilkenny. At best, the status is moderate and biodiversity will decline if this isn't reversed. The regulatory authorities monitor only the main rivers and it is hoped that some frequent small stream monitoring will give an insight into where the problems are arising. There is hope for the future of biodiversity, assuming climate change can be reined in. We know that if habitats are improved, species can recover. And we know that the Biodiversity Action Plan, as part of the European Green Deal in Agriculture, is aiming by 2030 to have about 10% of agricultural land diverse and 25% under organic management. There is also an increased interest in nature for our well-being and I think the education system offers hope because primary school students have much greater emphasis placed on nature studies and students in general are concerned about biodiversity. Now, for any student going into environmental research, I would recommend that they achieve a very broad base of experience in the field. Environmental issues are very complex. They have ecological, uh, genetic and chemical dimensions as well as many other dimensions. So, get experience in a broad field and then specialise in an area that you really enjoy working in.